Hello, son of God, and my brother, say my mind, and you don't die. Give as you receive, and your release is certain. This is the part 72 in the series Christ Forgiveness. And today, today's teaching is what is a miracle? A miracle is a correction. It does not create, not really change at all. Mainly looks on devastation and reminds the mind what it sees is false. It undoes error, but does not attempt to go beyond perception nor exceed the function of forgiveness. Thus, it stays within time's limits. Yet, it paves the way for the return of timelessness and love's awakening, for fear must slip away under the gentle remedy it brings. A miracle. A miracle contains the gift of grace, for it is given and received as one. And thus, it illustrates, it illustrates the law of truth the world does not obey because it fails entirely to understand its ways. I repeat, a miracle contains the gift of grace, for it is given and received as one. And thus, it illustrates the law of truth the world does not obey because it fails entirely to understand its ways. A miracle invades perception which was upside down before, and thus it ends the strange distortions that were manifest. Now is perception open to the truth. Now is forgiveness seen as justified. Forgiveness is the home of miracles. The eyes of Christ deliver them to all they look upon in mercy and in love. Perception stands corrected in his sight, and what was meant to curse has come to bless. Its lily of forgiveness offers all the hold, the silent miracle of love. And it is led before the word of God upon the universal altar to creator and creation in the light of perfect purity and endless joy. Miracle is taken first on faith. He goes, to ask for it implies the mind has been made ready to conceive of what it cannot see and does not understand. Yet faith will bring its witnesses to show that what it rested on is really there. And thus, the miracle will justify your faith in it and so it rested on a hold more real than what you saw before a hold redeemed from what you thought was there. Miracles fall like drops of healing rain from heaven on a dry and dusty world where starved and thirsty, thirsty creatures come to die. Now they have water. Now the world is green and everywhere the signs of life spring up to show that what is born can never die, or what has a life has immortality.